Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said I will start speaking through you. Move you. Will hear me clear. I will have you doing more. Obey me. We have to obey God. God is about to do some things in our life where he's getting ready to speak to us. God is getting ready to be your mouthpiece. God is getting ready to be your helper. God is getting ready to do some things in your life to help you to get to the next level in your life. In 2 John 1 and 6, it reads, and this is the love that we walk in obedience to his command. As you have heard, from the beginning his command is that you walk in love we got to walk in love whatever we want from god we can tell him and god would do whatever he needs to do in our life we got to make sure that we talking to god you got to make sure you speaking to god whatever you want god to do in your life you got to have that talk with him but I'm telling you, God is getting ready to speak through all of us. God is getting ready to give us confirmations. God is getting ready to help us. And he's getting ready to pour some things in us where we didn't even think that we can hear that stuff. I'm telling you, you be looking in the mirror and God speaking to you like, <laughs> and I'm hearing voices and listen, that's God speaking to you. The Holy Spirit is going to speak to you. You're going to feel it through your stomach. This is somebody's confirmation. You're going to feel the Holy Spirit over your body because God wants you to know that I'm speaking through you and I, I understand what you're going through. I understand what you're in. I, know, I understand what you're facing. And I want you to know that I am here with you. God is with us through everything. All we have to do is obey God and put God first in our life. When we put God first in our life, everything will fall in line. So please put God first. Obey what he's saying. When you obey God, everything will be good for you and you will eat the good of the land. You got to make sure that you are putting God first. Make sure you put God first in your life. Some of you say that you serve the Lord and guess what? Some of you are not. You, when you say you serve God, fully serve him, fully pray, fully submit, fully fast, seek the Lord, fully do everything in his will. And we need to obey God. We keep saying, oh, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. You don't spend time with God. You don't read your Bible. You don't pray. You don't fast. You need to spend time with God more than ever now. There's a lot of things that's going on in this world and God trying to speak to the world. He is trying to speak to the people that's in the world and he trying to speak to the church as well. God is trying to help everybody, but people don't want to take initiative. People don't want to take responsibility. People don't want to listen to God. I'm telling you, you think I'm playing. God is speaking to those people that's in the world. He trying to he trying to warn all of us. He coming back. And if you're not ready, if you're not prepared for God coming, you're going to miss everything that God has for you. Don't miss nothing that God has for you. Because I'm going to tell you, you need to repent. You need to ask God to help you with your nasty ways. We got some ways in us where we stink. We stink, and I'm I'm serious. I had to change some ways of myself. I had some ways where I was stinking, and I just, I didn't care about nothing. I was doing what I wanted to do, and I was like, all of this, and that I don't want to hear. So I made up my mind. I gave myself to God, and I started listening to God. You can't hear God if your ears are closed. You got to be listening to the word of God. You need to go to church. You need to fellowship with people at your, at your church and surround yourself around church people. Stop going to these bars. Stop looking at these nasty movies. Stop looking at these nasty websites and say, God, help me to control myself. You need to control yourself. Some of you, you know the truth. You got to stop doing nasty things. What's holding up your blessing is you keep going back. And God, listen, you cannot be like Locke's wife. She looked back and guess what? She got stuck and she turned to the pillow of salt. So what I'm saying to y'all is this. We got to look at God and ask God to help us. Whatever we're going through, know that God can clean you. God can do whatever he needs to do in you to make you over again. I want you to know that God is on your side. Don't give up on God. Continue to pray and fast. Continue to do whatever you need to do for your salvation because God coming back. He coming back for your soul. He coming back to make sure you did everything in his will. So please don't give up on God. Continue to be there. Continue to listen to his voice. Continue to not give up. Continue to press your way through and just know that God loves you regardless of what you have done. Don't give up.
okay? Don't give up. Pray about all things. Give everything to God. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Be encouraged.